Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to import data from SQL into SharePoint Online on Office 365. As you see, I am in SQL Management Studio here, and I have the AdventureWorks 2014 example database up, and I'm looking at the Store with Contacts view here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this into SharePoint. So let's start with on the SharePoint side. I'm going to create a regular contact list to have this information into. Stores with contacts, that's what I want to do. And of course, as usual, I'm not going to keep that among the recent ones because then it will disappear after 48 hours. And um, then, of course, I can change the columns and all that stuff, but I'm just going to jump straight into the importing part here, which is open with access. So that's the first part, because access can manipulate my SharePoint data as if it was a table. And of course, it can also connect to my SQL table. So I'm going to eventually create a query that takes information from my SQL table or view in this case and gets it into SharePoint. So first, we're going to connect with a link table. I'm going to create a new data source and I'm going to use the SQL driver for that. I'm just going to call it AdventureWorks. So that's what I want to connect to. Next, I'm going to find the server. Okay, demo SQL is the name of my server here, which is on the same machine. I'm going to use Windows Integrated Authentication. I'm going to change the default database to pick up the AdventureWorks 2014. Then I'm done with the data source. So we're just going to select that and use it. And I want to connect to the sales store with contacts. That's the one I want. OK. And the unique record identifier here is, of course, the business entity ID. So now we have a connection. We have two connections actually. We have one connection to SharePoint and we have one to have the SQL server. Now we're just going to do a query that selects from SQL inserts into SharePoint. So we're going to start by creating a query that takes the information from the SQL da database and then we're going to make an append query that appends into the SharePoint list. All right. So now it's just a matter of clicking a lot here to get the fields connected to each other. So as you see, I want to get, let's start with the uh, name here. I want to put that in the full name. Let's put that in the company field. And then we will do the first name, middle name, last name. We'll skip the middle name. Um, and then the phone number and the email address. All right. First name last name business phone email address all right i think we're good to go we need to put the um, full name on here also otherwise we'll get some trouble do this instead now let's go into the builder and i can use the table here that's the one from sql so i want to have that one value from that. Let's do a plus like that and then the last name like that. All right, let's see how that works. That looks good. And we want to put that in the full name. Now we can just view this and we'll see that the expression one is indeed the first name plus the last name. So everything looks good. We have 753 rows there. But so back to the design view, save first, Q add store contacts, like that. Now we'll just run this, get this warning, and we're running the query, and let's go over here and see what happens. And there we go. So that concludes my demo on how to get information from SQL into SharePoint Online on Office 365. Thank you for watching.